my dear Max friends. This is a fantastic day. I am in Stockholm and will be interviewing Marie Reze. Hello, Marie. <laughs> Hello, Vanessa. <laughs> we met around eight years ago when I just started my company. At that time, Marie was still working at Bockningsvorlaget, where she was director of sales and partner for 30 years. In August 2020, she started her own company and has been working with some of my partners in Spain since then. It will be very interesting to have her vision and experience while working with Spain as my destination. Marie lives for her clients and for the travels and for the people that she meets. She keeps herself updated by choosing professional partners and by visiting destinations and hotels on a regular basis. So, hello Marie, now! Hello! Hello! <laughs> And Let's uh, cheers. welcome to Stockholm. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> cheers on Stockholm and on Spain. Of course. Yes. <laughs> okay, so um, my first question to you, Marie, is first of all, I would like to know what do you think about Spain as a nice destination and when you compare it with other European countries? I think that uh, Spain is a very good uh, destination for us Swedes because it's uh, we like and we love Spain here in Sweden and also we have quite a lot of destinations where we have direct flight, flights which is also very good for us and uh, one very important thing is that it's also uh, quite pr competitive prices still. And that is because uh, if you have a group with uh, um, quite a lot of meeting time, then it's possible to do a tax deduction, mm -hmm. which makes it also uh, the rates better than other destinations. Uh, so that's one of some of the reasons. There are a lot of reasons. Okay. Good food and good uh, and the sun and everything. <laughs> some yes, of the but the tax refund is definitely it's, a, a, it's a good uh, competitive yeah. advantage yeah. comparing to other countries. Mm. Um, how was your experience of creating your own event company during the pandemic in year 2020 and how do you feel now? Uh, it was very hard uh, to, to start off uh, a business um, in that time, but at the same time it was good because uh, I had the opportunity uh, to um, study and do some extra studies here in Sweden because uh, the Swedish state funded a lot of uh, different courses so I did some digital media, I did some sustainability courses and so on, uh, which was very good for me. So when the pandemic was over, I felt that I had a new knowledge that uh, I didn't have before. So it mm -hmm. wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. Sweden was, was lucky compared to many other countries. Yes, yes. But there is an evolution, like when you have your own company and you have to take care of different other aspects that maybe you didn't do before, right? No, that's right. I yes. mean... It's, it's, it's a lot of difference to having a, your own company with 50 employees and all, this, the, all the things that happens mm -hmm. with staff. Mm -hmm. And now it's just me, but at the same time, I'm very vulnerable to, if you get a good, uh, really nice uh, request, you feel a bit scared, can I do it on my own? Mm -hmm. I need to have good partners mm -hmm. for everything. Mm -hmm. So that's very important for me. Yes, absolutely. Um, in February 2022, we had a very nice fan mm -hmm. trip uh, to my mother's island, Gran Canaria. Mm -hmm. The program was organized by InSuite, who is a longtime partner of Maximize Events Group in the Canary Islands, and they have a great team. What did you like the most about this fan trip? Uh, because it was a lot of things, but it was the surprise of, of finding that there were so many fun different things to do there because when you think about the Canary Islands you maybe think more about the, the large hotels and the all-inclusive and children's clubs but and the, this, beaches. And the beaches of course but we saw so many different things and we experienced so many nice things we walked we did a, a walk uh, around the crater we did fantastic the the Balkan. yeah exactly and we did uh, uh, sailing and we had some fantastic food and wine and it was no it was a fantastic really interesting uh, trip which I was able to sell on to one of my clients exactly yes. <laughs> so that was also good yes definitely um, in fact you have confirmed three groups in 2022 with our DMC partner in Mallorca, Sitges and Gran Canaria 
What do you think about each destination and what was your experience during your events working with Maximize Events Group? Uh, uh, in Sweet did the Gran Canaria and that was great and that was also because I hadn't visited myself so I could sell it easier when I knew uh, the destination. Sitges uh, is a beautiful place and it's so easy because there are so many direct flights to Barcelona and it's just like 40 minutes drive to get to, uh, to Sitges and there are so many good hotels both in the city centre and outside. And the staff at Maximize, they were really doing a hard effort to, uh, to uh, find the best hotels. And also they were there with the group and took care of the group very professionally. So mm -hmm. I was really happy about that. Mallorca was also a big, um, uh, that was a big uh, challenge, challenge for, for, for the, the DMC because my, my client had very high demands uh, on what they wanted to have and they had a very tight budget. Uh, but she managed and they managed to do a, a fantastic trip and my client was ever so happy. So, um, and it was, was end of August, I think. That was end of August, so it was super hot. Uh, but, uh, and the meeting room was super hot, but they put, in, put on extra air conditioning and everything. Everything really worked really mm. easy mm. because a lot for, because of the, my contact person at uh, Maximize that helped me out. She was there all the time mm -hmm. checking everything. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, that's, that's very good to know. Um, so, in terms of sustainability, I have the feeling sometimes that everybody is talking about it, but when the corporate groups travel abroad, they don't really take sustainability aspects into consideration very much. Do you have any measurements and have or have any specific expectations from your providers in general when you travel with MICE groups? Uh, I must say that uh, uh, Swedish companies are not so focused on, on the sustainability as you would think. Uh, I think that the only thing that we think, uh, that people think are impo is important, is uh, that the food is uh, that the food is compensated in a good way, that you, you use uh, good products, that it's uh, homemade meals and so on, more than... Uh, more than uh, the hotels or the destination and such. So, uh, no, I, I'm, I, I don't know why, but it's, it seems to take time mm -hmm. for people to mm -hmm. think about this. Mm -hmm. Well, also because maybe there are so many companies involved in the sustainable aspects, yeah. you need to have a chain. It's not so easy at it's the moment, right? Easy. Because it still takes time. No, yeah. And if you, you can also compensate your flight and everything, but if you ask the clients about that, Mm -hmm. mm, and they're yes. not really that interested. Mm -hmm. um, and last but not least, what do you like the most about working with my company, Max Tourism? I think that uh, the most important thing for me is that you, I know that the, the, the hotels or the providers that you work with are professional. I know that the things that you offer to me are something that I would probably like and also my clients. And that I feel safe that the, it's a high quality and a good standard of the options you have and the partners you have. And I have uh, used some of the hotels as well as the DMCs uh, that you have uh, during the years. And I feel that it's always good quality and a little bit out of the ordinary, which I like as well. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Okay. Mm. Thank you, Marie. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> well... Thank you so much for this nice conversation um, between business friends. Um, you know, I wanted to interview you since a long time, but we did not find the right time until now. On Tuesday, you are going to participate in our Max Day story time, and I'm looking forward to inspire all our Swedish event planners through our partners from Spain. Jorete Mar, Barcelona, Mallorca, Alicante and Malaga will be there. I wish you good luck with all your future plans and hope to welcome you very, very soon again in Spain. I will. I will come <laughs> soon. Thank you so much, Valeska. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much and see you all next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>